hit for hat, hit for hat, hit for hat. Every once in a while here at Jazed and Confused, we like to take our joking pants off and put our thinking caps on. If it's all right with you good folks, I'd like to get a little Andy Rooney on you in a new piece we call Hit for Hat. I was recently standing in the eight items or less line at my local no frills when I noticed an elderly woman purchasing two cans of Manwich, and naturally I thought of Kurt Schilling. Mr. Schilling was recently relieved of his position as an analyst on ESPN's Monday Night MLB broadcasts for insensitive comments he made on Facebook. Mr. Schilling posted a photo of a man wearing a wig with his breasts exposed with the caption, Let him into the restroom with your daughter or else you're a narrow-minded, judgmental, unloving, racist bigot who needs to die. Kurt, let me start by saying you should absolutely not let that man into the restroom with your daughter. No shirt, no shit. Having said that, I do believe actual transgender people should be able to choose the washroom they feel most comfortable using. If you're worried about your kids, Kurt, I assure you that trans people are very unlikely to assault them. In fact, those types of atrocities are predominantly committed by straight, middle-aged men with bad haircuts. Men like yourself, for the lack of a better example. Schilling then commented on his own post saying, A man is a man no matter what they call themselves. I don't care what you are or who you sleep with. The men's room was designed for the penis, women's not so much. Firstly, I had no idea that English wasn't your first language, so congrats on that. Secondly, what part of the bathroom is designed for the penis? If you're referring to urinals and you don't feel comfortable standing at one next to a trans person, I invite you to take advantage of the friendly confines of the toilet stall. It's a windowless cubicle where people defecate, and it's got a lock so you'll feel safe. Now, I realize you feel like you're being persecuted for your beliefs, Mr. Schilling, but I assure you, you're only being judged for your lack of faith in your fellow man. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Until then, you're not a real man. You're not a narrow-minded, judgmental, unloving, racist bigot who needs to die either. Ironically, you're just one letter away from being the best part of a woman. Catch my drift, Kurt? Kurt? And that's how we hit her head. Bye now.